Fake news is on the rise as the European elections draw near. Ahead of the vote, EU leaders and the European Union are increasingly being the targets of misinformation. Whether it's an attempt to discredit political rivals or claims about EU regulations, social media is rife with false narratives. Let's take a look. The dramatic shooting of Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fitzo has prompted swathes of politically motivated misinformation online. Social media users are claiming that this picture shows Fitzo's alleged attacker alongside Martin Šimečka, the father of the leader of the opposition party, Progressive Slovakia. Slovakian media has identified the alleged shooter as self-described writer Juraj Sintula. However, the picture in the posts doesn't show Sintula and Šmečka together. The second man in the picture isn't Šmečka at all, and the photo itself comes from one of Sintula's book launches in 2019. Facebook itself has now labelled the post as false information. The attempted false association of the attack on Fitzo with his political rivals remains particularly dangerous ahead of the European elections. Across the border, in Poland, Prime Minister Donald Tusk has been accused of attacking the notion of Polishness as an identity. A picture posted on TikTok claims that Tusk called Polishness an abnormality that comes to him with painful persistence. The Prime Minister did state those words, but they come from an article he wrote over 40 years ago. According to Polish fact-checkers, Tusk's article critically discusses Poles' attitudes to reality before confirming that he identifies with his own Polishness at a time when Poland was a communist satellite of the Soviet Union. Despite its oppressive heritage, it remains our common conscious choice, he said. As a strongly pro-EU Prime Minister who previously served as President of the European Council, Tusk is a crucial target for misinformation mere weeks before the elections. Often, it's the EU itself that's under attack from those spreading false narratives. Some social media users say the bloc has prohibited all cash payments over €100,000. This is partly true. The EU has approved rules limiting cash transactions to €100,000, part of a raft of new anti-money laundering measures. But these restrictions don't apply to all transactions. Specifically, there's a limit on professional traders barring them from accepting or paying cash over €100,000. Transfers between private individuals in a non-professional context are excluded. Ahead of the European elections, it's critical that news is shared accurately and fairly so that the electorate can vote with the proper information at hand. For more investigations and fact-checks, head to our website, euronews.com.